I go home every year and people say, why do you, how many fantasy camps have you done? Well, I've been going ever since 1987, my first year out of pro ball. And the reason I come down here as a pro is because I get to see my teammates and friends that I've known forever. But for the campers, they get to be a big leaguer for a week. For the person that's sitting there and saying, I, you know, I haven't played in a long time. I, I'm not sure that I can go down and compete. Yes, you can. For the person who's still in pretty good shape and you've always wanted to come have some pretty good brand of baseball at times, this is a place for you. I will promise you there's a place for every level of baseball when you come to this camp. You got some guys that are pretty good. You got some guys that maybe not as good. But once you put that uniform on and these guys all become one, part of one team, nobody really judges you. People just want to win and they want to have fun with you. But I, I have to make a, a disclaimer to this. I'm going to have to warn you. If you're coming down here and saying it's just a bucket list saying I'm only going to do it once, be very, very careful because we, the recidivism race down here is unbelievable. This year we got 120 guys that came. Only 30 of them are rookies. Everybody else has been here at least one time. The relationships that were formed coming down to this camp last all throughout the year. Guys go out to dinner, their families get together, they go to the ballpark, watch the games, they call each other. It's the dangest thing I've ever seen. Matter of fact, they created their own Hall of Fame just so that they can honor some of the people who've been coming for years. You take guys like Mike Goldshot, who's come for 30 consecutive years, Tony Moss, 32 years, and you will find people from CEOs of companies to folks who've saved for a couple of years to come down here because when you put the uniform on, you become one. The storyline that goes on throughout this, so much more than baseball. Baseball is just a venue that gets us all together. So here's what you're gonna get. You come to Fantasy Camp, you fly in on Saturday or Friday, come early if you want. Fri uh, Saturday night we have a banquet. That banquet is where we introduce everybody and we kind of give you an idea what the week's gonna be like. Okay, you get up the next day, which is Sunday, you come to the ballpark, we put you through some drills so that our coaches can evaluate you and then they'll go into a room and they will draft their own teams. Once they draft their team, we'll go out that afternoon, we'll play the first game. The second day you come back, you're playing double headers. Then after the double headers, we want you to go out and have a nice bite to eat, but we have a little bull session so that you can ask the pros questions. You wake up Tuesday, you play another double header, then we have another little session. This year we were very fortunate to have Hall of Famer Marty Brenneman do a question and answer. Wednesday, wake up, play another double header. And then that night we do a kangaroo court, we raise a lot of money for Hope for the Warriors, a military charity, and the people down here, I'm blown away by just the gifts that they continue to give and help our servicemen. Uh, and then on Thursday, it's when it starts getting a little tough. Now we're narrowing it down to the two best teams up here. And then Thursday afternoon, you play the championship game. Friday, you get to play against the pros. And uh, it, that's a lot of fun as well. And guys really enjoy that. Friday night, you have the final banquet. We pass out all of our awards. Then everybody takes off Saturday. The week goes so fast. It starts off and uh, you think, man, this is, uh, this is pretty cool, but I don't know. We tell our guys after they've done the first seven games, say, that's great, now you only got about 155 more. That's the kind of seasons we used to play. And I think they get a great appreciation for not only the game of baseball, but they learn a little about themselves too. And so it's all baseball. And, uh, it, it's real, and this weather's kind of bad. Yeah, I saw a cloud a few minutes ago. I don't know where it went, but if you want to come out and spend it in 75 to 80 degree weather, the nights are about 50. It's perfect. And not just one day, but every day, this is the place you need to be.